Yo, what is going on everybody? Shri Kanasa here. So how to create custom audiences for Google Ads. Now, one of the most overlooked aspects of Google Ads is custom audiences. In my opinion, if you are not using custom audiences to your advantage, and if you're running shopping ads or even search ads, then you're absolutely doing something wrong. But not to worry, that's why I'm here because I'm gonna be showing you exactly which audiences you will need for your Google Ads account in order to get the best return on ad spend possible, but also how to even create them because there's not a lot of tutorials out there on custom audiences or how they even work. So I'm going to be going over step by step on exactly how that's done, but without wasting any more time, let's just jump right into it. The first thing you'll have to do in order to find any type of success with this video, however, is to destroy that like button until it turns blue. I promise it's going to take just two quick seconds. Okay, hopefully I've done that, but custom audiences. Now, before actually going on to my Google ads account, and this is a brand new account for a brand new Shopify store. If you're still facing issues with getting your account suspended, your merchant center account specifically, you want to check out the video I released a few weeks ago, which goes over this. That video goes step by step on how to recover your account and exactly what steps you should be taking. But let's go on over to our Google Doc to first go over exactly which type of audiences you actually need. And there are several different audiences you'll be needing. Before I reveal them, let's talk about audiences and exactly what they mean. So if you're a Facebook ads user, basically these audiences are the people that have already interacted with your business in some way. This could mean that they added a product to cart or they simply visited your website or they went all the way to purchase and purchase something. These customers all get a special placement within the different audiences which are available on Google. However, it is your responsibility to use these audiences to your advantage. I've made a video on this where I went over how you can target these people. And by target, I mean doing retargeting via shopping ads running for cool audiences, which you can check out on my channel. But these audiences time and time again, I've noticed have gotten me really good results. And as you guys see on the screen, the ROAS is always a little bit higher than the overall campaigns ROAS for these audiences. And that's simply because these are either warm or hot traffic. So you want to use them to your advantage, but there's different audiences available. Not every audience which Google allows and which Google provides is going to be useful to you. So exactly what kind of audiences do you even create? How do you go about doing this? There are several different audiences, as I already mentioned, which you need to create. Here is the following list. So the first one is all converters. Now this should be automatically provided to you by Google. If it is not, we'll go over how to create this. But in addition, there's all visitors, people who went to the cart page but didn't check out, people who purchased a product, people that actually abandoned their cart in checkout, and similar to all converters. And this is actually a lookalike audience. The last one is the AdWords optimized list. Now, there are several more audiences which you can actually create and use with Google. However, in my own experience, I've always found that this list right here is the list of audiences that you actually need to get the results. Other audiences which are available via Google don't always provide the best results, but don't be afraid to try them on your ad account because something that works for you may not always work for me and vice versa. But how do you actually create these audiences? How do you even use them within your campaigns? Let's go ahead and go on over to my Google's ads account to show you guys exactly how this is done. So on the Google ads dashboard, this is what you should be seeing. The first step for you is to go to the tools button right here on the top. From there, you want to go on to the shared library section and within the shared library section is where you'll see what you need access to. And that is the audience manager. Now, if you're again from Facebook, audience manager is very similar to what you see via Facebook ads, where you go ahead and create audiences with Google. That is exactly what we're going to be doing. This is actually a brand new Google ads account for a brand new Shopify store. And as you guys can see, there's already two different audiences created for this account. I did not create these myself. It says right here, these were automatically created. Created. So this is the all users, meaning all people who visited my website. And this is the second one, which is all purchasers of the website. So people who purchase, that means these two audiences, you will not have to go ahead and create. So the first audience, all converters is already chosen for you. In addition, all visitors is basically this first one right here. So this is also another audience, which you don't have to create. So let's go ahead and go on to the cart audience. Exactly. What should you be doing with this audience for any other audience, including the cart audience? It is a very simple process to actually go ahead and target them. What you want to do is go ahead and click this plus button on the top left. From here, you'll see that there are various different options, website visitors, app users, YouTube users, customer list or custom combination. We want to go ahead and choose website visitors for the people that visited the cart, but didn't proceed to the checkout page. So we do website visitors. 
once you click on that this is exactly what you're gonna see so the first step for you when creating any type of audience is to give it a name now in my own case what i always do is i simply name the audience what it is supposed to be doing or what it is exactly targeting so in this case we're targeting those people who went to the cart page but didn't check out so we would simply name this audience cart or you can name it card but didn't check out etc in addition what i like to do is i like to put in parentheses how many days previous worth of data you are targeting with this audience in this case for the people that went to cart page but didn't check out i always like to stay at 180 for this specific audience now you can of course do more you can do less it is completely up to you in my own experience what i do is i like to do 180 days because unlike facebook with google you really only need to create one audience and google is going to keep track of that throughout the time that you have that and i've personally noticed that the number 180 works a little bit better with google which is why i have that in this case let's move on to the next step which is the list of members now here are different options that you can do you can do the visitors of a simple page like just going to the cart page or you can do somebody who visited the cart page but then went on to another page or you can do a wide variety of different options for this case we we're just doing the first option right here and visited page we want to make sure that this is chosen and it is default but what we want to do is now is we want to go in and do backwards slash and we want to type in the word cart because we are now targeting people who actually visited the cart page now if you want to simply target people that went onto the cart page you can leave it like this however if you want to target the people that went onto the cart page but did not move on to the checkout page then you want to go ahead and change this to match every rule group and once you do that you want to click the end button right here to then go ahead and add the small portion of the url on the checkout page in this case what we're going to do is we're going to add the slash checkout section because this word right here should be included within the url for the checkout of that page however if you don't want to take this extra step you can simply leave it at the backward slash cart section right there but once you do that then you want to scroll down there are different options available here i don't really like to play with all of these besides the membership duration one now this is where you can and decide how long you want somebody to be within this audience as we said for this audience we want it to be 180 days so that's exactly what we're going to do we change it to 180 days and once you're done with that simply create the audience and you're good to go and that is how you create the first real audience which is the cart page abandoners who didn't move on to the checkout page now you want to be doing the same thing for these other ones as well the audience purchases and all converters are pretty much the same so you really don't have to create these twice however you can personally go ahead and do that but cart abandoners now this is the audience where if you did add this backward slash checkout word you want to take this off now for the cart abandoners audience simply because within that audience we want to only target those people who actually fully abandoned their cart meaning they went onto the cart page and then they also went onto the checkout page but they did not buy anything from there they simply left the checkout page or what you can do you can target the checkout page itself and then name the audience people who abandoned the checkout instead of people who abandoned their cart so what you would do for the url is simply use this url and instead of having the backward slash cart url right there you would just put backward slash checkout and this would be targeting all the people who left the checkout page without purchasing there's again various different audiences which you can actually do but that's exactly how you would target somebody with and create an audience for them who abandoned their checkout so again as i mentioned first audience you want to create is the cart audience which is people who will abandon their cart within the past 180 days again simply leave this at backwards slash carts and then using the match every rule group add in the condition that they also visited the checkout page but did not purchase now this audience is different than this one right here because with the cart abandoners audience we're gonna just be leaving it as the condition backwards slash cart and that's all that has to be matched in order for this audience to fire as we already mentioned purchases and all converters is one audience in itself however all converters is a google created audience and the purchases audience is one which you can manually create and put in a manual number for the amount of days that a member should be in there so this is what i normally like to do if you don't really want to use google's given audience you can just go ahead and do this and for the actual url what you would do is you would change it to the thank you page url so you would do thank and however it is at the very end of your checkout that is what you should write so if it is thank underscore you at the very end for the thank you page url you would simply copy that part of the url and paste it in right here because our thank you page is going to contain this url and that is exactly what this condition says so in this case we would be targeting all the people who visited the thank you page and that means these are all people that actually purchased something and then you can come down here to the membership duration and change this to 540 days 
But let's move on to the last two audiences on the list, which is similar to all converters and AdWords optimized lists. Now, in order to understand more about these two audiences, I'm going to go ahead and take you guys over to the actual Google ads website to show you more about exactly what happens with these audiences and how they're even created, because these two are some of the most powerful audiences you can create for your Google ads account. However, they're not just given to you directly. You need to actually earn them. Now, what do I mean by this exactly? Well, let's look at exactly what is written right here. So the first qualification in order for your account to even be eligible for this type of audience is to have a minimum of 100 visitors in the remarketing list itself. Now, this remarketing list is automatically generated by Google ads once you have enough visitors on your Shopify store via Google. So you don't have to really worry about this personally. But the second thing that determines whether these remarketing lists are available to you or not is how recently these visitors joined the original list. Now, if your Google ads account was running many, many days ago, maybe a year ago or two years ago, of course, those people will no longer be available within that list. And that means if you did have the list previously, it will no longer be available. But the third thing is the types of sites that these visitors browse. Now, these people, if they're not really using Google itself to do much research into different products, into what they want to find, etc., then they're not going to be available within this audience. So they should be using this Google remarketing list in order to even rank under this list that will be created for you. But the fourth thing is the list must be owned by your account, not shared. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys one Google ads account for my main Shopify store where the lists are actually available. So if you scroll all the way down, we can see that the first audience right here is the similar to all visitors audience and the similar to all converters audience. Now the two main lists that you want to be on the lookout for are similar to all converters and adverse optimized lists. So as you can see right here, similar to all converters, it says right here, this was automatically created, which is what we want. And once it has enough data, it will show you exactly how many people it can show this audience to, meaning how many people are even within this audience. And this is basically a look like audience for your Google ads account. The next list that is going to be automatically created is the AdWords optimized list. Again, basically a lookalike audience, and this is automatically created by Google. Now, this is not always the best audience to have because you don't have any control over who is within this audience. But once it's available, then you can go ahead and target these people within your shopping campaigns. And this brings me to the final point of this video, which is how do you even choose these audiences within your campaigns and how do you even target them? So what we're going to do is we're going to go on over to one of my main Google shopping campaigns it's running for this ad account right now. And we're going to look at that ad account to see the audience and how it's currently performing. So I'm going inside one of my general testing campaigns and I want to go to the audiences section. Within the audiences section, we'll not be able to get more data on exactly how these audiences are performing. And this is also the section where you're going to actually be adding the audience itself once it's available. But you can, in the meantime, add these other audiences, which you have created and basically retarget these people because that is where these audiences really shine the most. What I want to do is I want to look at all time worth of data for these audiences to show you guys how powerful these audiences are. So as you can see in total, we've spent roughly $90,000 on this campaign, but the audience has spent only about $6,000. And in total, we have gotten $33,000 in sales for a total return on ad spend for 5.41. Now, as you can see, for the overall general testing campaign, the ROAS is 4.68, but with these audiences in total, it's 5.41. So much higher than the actual campaign itself. And individually, these Audiences have done very, very well, as you guys can see right here clearly. But what do you want to do once you're on this section is to go ahead and click this pen button right here. From this pen button, we want to, first of all, make sure that this second option is chosen right here, observation. We do not want to just target these people because we're not trying to narrow down this campaign to just these individuals. We want to observe them and we want to target them in addition to the cold traffic audiences for the products that we have running within this campaign. But once you choose this option, you want to go ahead and click the browse button right here. From the browse button, you want to click this last option, which is how they've interacted with your business, because this is where the remarketing list and all of the other lists that you create will be shown. So right here, as you can see, website visitors, you should have at least the ones I mentioned earlier in the Google Doc available here. You simply choose on them and then the combined list and similar audiences section is where Google will provide you the list itself. If it's available for you, then you want to click on it. If it's not, then you want to just go ahead and wait for it to become available. As you guys saw on the official website, it does take a little bit of time and data for it to become available. But once you have chosen them, just click save and that's literally all you have to do. 
Once it's saved, you should see them here. Then you have the option of going in and adjusting the bids. I do recommend bidding higher for these audiences. For example, for all visitors, it's at 50. For cart abandoners, it's at 120. And for people who purchased, it's at 300% because this is the most valuable audience. You want to bid a little bit more to that but the bidding will entirely depend on you and which audience you're targeting. But this is the overall strategy on how you create custom audiences and how you actually target them. Make sure to create at least the ones on this list, of course, besides the bottom two. And once you do start using them, you should definitely see positive results because these are, again, warm and hot traffic audiences. If you found any type of value in this video, smash the like button and smash that subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time.